hi welcome again in this video i'm gonna show you a nice trick to improve performance of landscapes using uh, runtime virtual textures usually we use our runtime virtual textures to blend static meshes into the ground or the landscape but we can uh, use that as a cache to get uh, more performance out of landscape now we're trying to see the shader performance cost from here right and it will start company stuff basically now you can see uh, everything is red but uh, here we can see the grass it's green the shader performance wise uh, our landscape is much worse than grass and it is expected because we have more layers here if you need to fix this and if you're targeting for a lower end devices and there's a way to fix that i'm going to show you right now so here you can see this is reddish uh, that means it's sort of bad so here in my material instance we have option to like enable runtime virtual text cache so i'm gonna click that now we can see everything just start to look at green so basically now uh, it should work fine right so using just clicking this one we get a performance boost like this so then uh, let's go to the normal lit mode and see what are the changes if you look at here and there's no much difference right so it looks like the same old uh, landscape so let me turn it off again right so since now we have foliage and it's quite hard to see the difference between these two and let me turn off foliage i'm gonna re remove all the grass all right and then uh, i'm clo go closer to a mountain right here now we have uh, rvt enabled cache enabled actually i cannot see normal information here and also the textures look a little bit blurry and and you know these colors are not that accurate and uh, yeah that's 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 because of these uh, runtime virtual textures and the same time if i disable the cache now i am getting the normal information and my you can see more details on the on, on the on the textures so we cannot see that from when we enable the rvt cache but if we enable foliage and if we're looking at from a distance and it's really hard to see the difference right let's dive into and how to do that before we begin i'm gonna show you some stuff about performance related metrics here you can see this there are several numbers first we have the frames per second and here we have something called frame game draw and gpu and the two uh, interesting numbers are the game and the gpu so in order to calculate a frame a gpu spend around like 10 9 to 10 milliseconds here and the CPU spent around uh, 7 to 8 milliseconds. So in this case, my bottleneck is on the GPU. So let me actually put the player in. So in a game mode, so we can get an accurate result. So if you're looking at some something um, far away, so you can see my GPU performance is it's something around like, I can still see 100 frames a second. It's, it's not that bad. I mean, it's pretty good. And then when I enable the RVT cache, as you can see now, it's it's improved a little bit. I mean, it's really hard to see the difference uh, from the uh, from here. And in, in in my case, the improvement is quite subtle uh, because I think I, my GPU is quite okay. But if you're targeting a lower end GPUs and this or more mobile devices, I haven't test that. But this is something you can you can try. All right, now let's see how to enable RVT cache in OpenLAN. Inside OpenLAN, we already configured uh, RVT support or runtime virtual texture support with caching. It's really easy to enable that. So first of all, go to the edit project settings and then search for virtual texturing. And here we need to enable virtual texturing support. This is disabled by default. You have to enable that. And then you have to restart your project it will uh, take some time to compile stops just just wait for until that happens now select the landscape from the world outline go to the details section and search for virtual textures and then here we need to enable we need to add our virtual texture to our landscape so just click this if you have using open land just select this one and you can see two virtual textures and select the one called uh, open land material okay now we have selected the virtual texture now we need to add a volume into this place now go to uh, place actors and search for 
virtual okay now we got that put that actor into the scene go to the details panel and again search for virtual texture and you will get this window and from that select the, the exact same uh, virtual texture you can see this from here and here you can see the transform from bounds so we need to set that from here select your landscape okay this one and then just click set bounds now you can, as you can see it will create a big box bounding box around our landscape this is what we need and we are good to go now go to your landscape and open the material instance in this case is a open land theme default which you can see here in here just search for rvt or you can uh, simply scroll down to the performance section and here uh, we have a checkbox called use rvt cache simply click that and now you can see we en enable the virtual cache support. Uh, scale wise quite different from the the default version so but actually if you need to change this you, you can play with these not these two numbers and try to get a blend distant blend uh, according to your your feelings right this is it and this is how we can enable uh, rbt cache support in uh, open land if you want to do this in your own uh, landscape material you can always uh, get the open land from github and try to see how we are doing that and it's, it's quite, quite okay to do that and also i really uh, recommend to watch this video uh, from i think it's it's from two years ago uh, virtual texturing from uh, unreal engine and it's quite old but the concepts and everything is really valuable and uh, very interesting i have added the link in the description below and uh, you can get this video from there with that all right uh, see you soon with something interesting